first hour, Tony Schiavone along with Larry Zabisco. Still to come, not only this great matchup, but the triangle match for the world tag team title. The burning question here, Sting and Lex Luger, can they remain focused in light of their upcoming gigantic battle, the most important battle in WCW history against the two men who have come in here and attempting this hostile takeover of WCW. Sting and Lex Luger, of course, the Macho Man will be in that match, but Luger and Sting in the triangle match against the Steiners and Harlem Heat. Give me a prediction, Larry. Do you think they'll retain? Do you think the Steiners will regain the glory, or will Harlem Heat regain it? Personally, I like the Harlem Heat. I think these guys are hungry. Again, Steiner brothers, good wrestlers, but with Rick Steiner, you know, he's not a full deck player. Scott Steiner, younger guy, more emotions. And uh, Sting and Lex Luger, I don't think they're fully focused, Tony. I think they got that macho man syndrome. Andy Guerrero gets a superb ovation for the fans here at Independence Arena here in Charlotte, North Carolina, the Queen City of the South. Good to have you with us wherever you are watching WCW Monday Nitro. You know, Andy has been in Japan, very successful tour of Japan, and I really didn't have a chance to talk to Eddie since what went down, and he said that, you know, he said, I feel that I have as much heart and determination as anybody, and if they want to, I'll take on both men. I don't care about a surprise third man. He said, I'll take him on myself. And Eddie Guerrero would do that because, look, he's going in against a much bigger man like the Barbarian here in this matchup. And Eddie, more times than not, has been successful against bigger men. Well, having heart and a dream doesn't uh, make the great. You have to have the knowledge, the wisdom, and the ability. Eddie has given up a lot of size. I mean, look at the Barbarian and remember that Darwinian man, although well-behaved, is merely a gorilla, well-shaved. Jeez. Where do you come up with these things? It's not easy being a legend. Uh, apparently, it is not easy being a legend, but I tell you, you know, Eddie Guerrero has all the attributes you were talking about when you talk about the ability. And Eddie is a, is a second-generation wrestler. Eddie uh, grew up in this sport, but Eddie has a determination and a fire that I would say right now all the wrestlers in WCW have obtained over the past week or so. Well, I'm not taking anything away from Eddie Guerrero. I'm just saying... I don't know if he's the one that could defend the honor and stop the hostile takeover. We will find out what will transpire, fans. You have to be with us for this one. It is Sunday, the 7th of July. That is a mere oh. one week away from this coming Sunday. Inside of two weeks, as Gene Oakland told you earlier, look at Eddie with the quickness. And look how on target he was with a drop kick. It didn't phase the big guy. Back to the attack again. Eddie goes up, kicks him down. Got him in mid -air. I mean, Eddie Guerrero very fast. Two Boy, and a not enough weight. Barbarian easily pushes him off. Eddie's going to have to keep moving. Cross, cross body, caught. Yeah, caught in midair. That takes power. The Barbarian is a man you don't want to run into head on. Guerrero made a mistake. And again, heart, determination still leads to making major mistakes like this. We can't afford that to stop a takeover. But Eddie's got to do is think how to go around the big guy, how to take him down, how to make him his own size. That's wisdom. The whip into the corner and into the midst with such force, the Barbarian with a kick to the midsection. The Barbarian, Eddie Guerrero, and the fans are loving this one here on WCW Monday Night Show live on TNT. Look at the pickup. Oh, look at the power of the Barbarian. Just knocked the atmosphere out of the lungs of Eddie Guerrero. This could be it for this punk. The Barbarian sees victory now, one, two count. Amazingly enough, this, of course, the longtime home of former champ nature boy Ric Flair and also the new home of Kevin Green of the Carolina Panthers. Well, Green, sure, Pittsburgh threw him off because he lost the stupid ball for him. He did not lose the Super Bowl. Well, they didn't fire anybody else. It was free agency. Don't you read Look the at this. Pick up. The Barbarian having his way with Eddie Guerrero. It would have been Eddie's fortune to go and try to take the big man off his feet. That did not happen. And the Barbarian having his way. Got a two count. Well, if the bar Barbarian's not exactly a brain surgeon, but I think he had Eddie Guerrero twice. Just put that hand on his chest. A very lackadaisical attempt to pin the man. Obviously, Eddie Guerrero not as out of it as the Barbarian thinks, but definitely in big trouble. Approach this match all wrong. 
Don't go power for power when you're the little man in there. Good to have you with us on this hour one of wrestling's hottest two hours live each and every Monday. The big triangle match world tag team title will be decided in the second hour of this television program. You got to stay with us for that one. Up on top is Guerrero, and this may be a very dangerous place ready to be. He's trying to bring him down, but he cannot. He rolled him over. Eddie, with a pinning combination, pulled off from that one and stops him in the head. Well, somehow, I don't know what that was. Eddie just kept uh, rolling around, dragged him over. I think the Barbarian landed on top of his mouth. Hey, he got him halfway up. Into a side, Salto got him down. Eddie slowly trying to get to the top, and he is wasting a lot of time. Look at the Barbarian getting his feet here. Yeah, too much time. When you're going up to the top and you see the man moving, get off of there. Up on top, the oh. Barbarian takes him down the hard way. Yes, you don't want to get off like that. Boy, you're not kidding. That hit hit him. That was the steel connector between the turnbuckle and the ring post, and Eddie may not be able to continue here. Up on top, trying to bring Eddie down, the Barbarian. He's up there with him. Fans, if he connects with this one, they are going to come from the heavens. He hooks him over the top, and he throws Eddie three quarters of the way across the ring. Well, get the stretcher ready. Look at Guerrero right there. Again, heart and desire to stop a takeover. That's what I mean. He's lucky he rolled out of the ring. Barbarian would have had him right in the middle. He's lucky he bounced that far. Nick Patrick may have a count out on his hand here. He's up to six. Eddie Guerrero may not be able to make it back in. Will Barbarian go over, grab him by the hair, pull him in. Don't let him, don't let him recoup. Don't let the little guy get his win back. Into the midsection, the Barbarian, a right hand. Inside of two weeks away from Bash at the Beach, the one that everybody's talking about, the one where the world could change in professional wrestling. Fans, it is Sunday, July 7th. It is only on pay-per-view. And of course, the two gentlemen we have talked so much about, we understand they are here, and we have no idea what's gonna happen. Here's a pickup. Here sends Eddie, and he falls on top. One, two, three. He got it. Oh, lady, look at Smile Barbarian slipped off the top rope. You see that? Well, I tell you, it's the determination, the perseverance, the heart, the desire that makes Eddie Guerrero, that makes WCW, that has put all these men behind WCW as we head to Bash at the Beach. Well, with all those attributes, it always helps, too, when your opponent falls off the top rope. Lady Luck was smiling down upon Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero is your winner here on WCW Monday Nitro. He earned every bit of that. He could have earned it a lot easier if he didn't make some basic mistakes off the beginning, though, Tony. Well, we're going to bring Eddie in the ring, and Mean Gene is there. Thank you very much, Tony and uh, Larry. As you described very aptly, the technical mechanics of this band are simply superb. Returning recently from international competition in Japan, we're going to talk about that in a moment. But, Eddie Guerrero, I want to take you back to Uncensored, that mega spectacular on pay-per-view from WCW. Oh, my word. You were in the ring with the reigning United States champ, Conan. Please describe for me as we take a look at it what's transpiring here. Well, as you know, saw right there, Mean Gene, I kind of got hit where uh, most... Uh, it, it was, I'm, it, oh, my word. Right, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, you could be singing a uh, lounge act with the Four Seasons after that. I don't want to make light of it because I know it's a very painful injury. That's right, all I want to do is just not make any excuses. I just do want to say that I think that I deserve another shot. I know almost all the wrestlers here in WCW are great, and I'd like to make my bid again for the U.S. Championship, and I'd appreciate and always appreciate your people's support on that. All right, uh, very good, I thank you. And by the way, Eddie Guerrero, since you just returned from the Super Junior Weight competition in Japan at the international level, what do you think of this outside, this outside invasion, these, these people that are coming in here? Well, I just think they're coming in here with a lot of lack of respect for all the wrestlers of WCW. And I'd like to say that I wish my name was on that list of three that are going to go up against them, but it's not. 
And I know that those three thank are the you. best at WCW. I just want to wish them my best. Very good. I thank you, Eddie Guerrero. High energy. Stay tuned. More Nitro right around the corner here on TNT. You guys got to understand, the name is not Nacho Man. It's Macho Man. And I'm going to teach you guys that. You're not coming in here and taking over. That's my job. Yeah. So I'll see you guys down the road WCW style. Yeah.